Hello and welcome. This is Today in the News. Here are the highlights. DSS arrests mastermind of Veku born improvised explosive device attack in Kogi State. Doctor says injuries consistent with repeated forceful and blunt penetration found on 18-year-old's vagina in Dr. Femi Olaleye case. Nasarawa State Governor debunks reports in media that some APC governors are against the party in favor of PDP's Atiku Abubakar. Spiritual Director of Adoration Ministry Enugu, Reverend Father Ejika Mbaka, arrives in Nigeria. The Department of State Services has arrested the mastermind of the vehicle born improvised ex explosive device attack which occurred on 29th December 2022 near the palace of the Oinoi of Ibera land in Okene, Kogi State during the visit of the president to commission some projects. The service arrested Abdumumin Ibrahim Otaru, also known as Abu Migdad, and one of his associates, Saidu Sulaiman, on 3rd January 2023. Abdumumin Otaru, sustained a gunshot injury on his left foot while attempting to escape. He is currently receiving treatment at a health facility. Information available indicates that Otaru was a high commander of Islamic State West Africa province and also coordinated the dastardly operation. Further investigations reveal that Abdumumin and Otaru operated terrorist cells in and around Kogi State. Similarly, he and his gang staged several kidnap operations in Kogi and Ondo states. A medical doctor who conducted a medical examination on the alleged survivor of popular cancer care specialist Femi Olaleye says she found injuries consistent with repeated forceful and blunt penetration of the 18-year-old's vagina. Oyebinkpe Akimbomi, who works as a medical and forensic examiner at the Mirabel Center, a sexual assault referral center, is the fifth witness of the Lagos State Government prosecuting the trial, which is before Justice Rahim Oshodi of the Sexual Offenses and Domestic Violence Court sitting in Ikeja. She was led to give her evidence on Wednesday by the Director of Public Prosecutions at the Ministry of Justice, Babajide Martins. She said the survivor whose names are withheld, she says the survivor whose name is withheld to protect her identity was presented at the center on March 15, 2022, along with her aunt, upon a complaint of alleged repeated sexual abuse levied against her auntie's husband, Dr. Laleye, which she says had been ongoing since March 2020. The Nasarawa State Governor Abdullahi Sule has debunked reports in the media that some governors of the All Progressives Congress are against the party in favor of the People's Democratic Party candidate Atiku Abubakar. The governor, who made the statement at a meeting with his campaign council and appointees, described the report as blunt and lie. Governor Sule believes such insinuations are emanating from the opposition and mischief makers who do not mean well for the candidate of the party, Bola Ahmed Tinubu. The spiritual director of Adoration Ministry in Ugo, Nigeria, Reverend Father Ejikam Baka, has arrived to the country after spending weeks at the monastery as mandated by the Catholic Bishop of Enugu, Most Reverend Kalisto Zonaga. According to a trending video, thousands of supporters filled the Enugu airport to receive the man of God to receive him into the country at around 9 a.m. on West Day. Music instruments and chants were heard as soon as seen by the people. Thousands of supporters were seen singing and chanting Hosanna songs right before the Akanumbam International Airport in Enugu, marching through streets to welcome the clergyman back to the state. Recall the Reverend Father Mbaka was suspended by the Catholic Bishop of Inugun Dowsis, Most Reverend Kalistos Onaga, for a statement on the candidature of the presidential candidate of Liberal Party, Peter Obi. Shortly after his suspension was lifted, he was asked to proceed to a monastery for a retreat.